Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada toggles element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. The toggles element is a perfect way to add multiple sections of content to your website while allowing users to actively select which to show or hide at any time. It's very similar in appearance to the FAQ element, but this element does not connect to a custom post type. Let's have a look at how it's been used on the Music Prebuilt website. Here, near the bottom of the Live Dates page, we can see the Toggles element has been used to list out the live dates. If I click on the icon or the title of the toggle items, they open and close, and we can see their internal content. Let's edit this element to see how it's put together. As you can see, it's a parent and child element with a children tab, a general tab, and a design tab. The children tab holds all the individual toggles, but let's look at the general tab first. The very first option with this element is to choose whether it acts like a toggle or an accordion. Here it's set on default, which in this case is accordion. The difference between the two is that accordion only allows you to open one item at a time, while toggles allow you to open multiple. The next two options control the inactive and active icons if you wish to change them from their defaults. Here it is a small plus icon for the inactive state and a minus icon for the active state, but you can use any icons you like. Under this is a margin option which controls the margins for the element as a whole. The final options on this tab are the ubiquitous element visibility option which allows you to show or hide the element on various screen sizes and the CSS class and CSS ID options for further customization with CSS. Okay, so let's take a look at the design tab. Boxed mode is the first option here, and in this case the default is yes, which adds a box around each item. Because it's set to yes, there are three related options below this for the border width, border color, and the background color. If I set it to no, these options are replaced with a different one called divide align, which can be set to yes or no. If set to yes, there's also an option for the divide align color. However, here I will set the box mode back to default. Okay, the next option is called toggle padding. This controls the padding within each toggle item. So for example, if I just add five pixels top and bottom padding, we can see each toggle gets a bit bigger. Following this is an option called title tag. And with this, you can just specify the title tag for the toggle titles. You can choose from H1 to H6, as well as div. The next option controls the title typography. Here there is a full typography set. You can set the font family, font size, line height and letter spacing. There's also a text transform option and a font color option. You can apply a global typography set to this or you can set them manually. Then comes a range of options for the icon. The first of these is an option for the toggle icon size. 13 pixels is the default here but it can be anywhere from 1 to 40. The icon color can also be customized as you wish. Here the default icon is white, and the icon can be boxed or not. If the icon is boxed, there is an option for the inactive box color, which in this case is the same color as the toggle background. There is an option for the toggle icon alignment, which is probably most useful in RTL languages. And under this is another full typography set, this time for the content typography. Below this there is an option for the content font color and two more color options for the toggle hover accent color and the toggle active accent color. As you can see, the first of these controls the accent color on hover for icon box and title when you mouse over the toggle item. And as the last option is empty and has no default set, when we open the toggle, the icon box doesn't change color. Okay, if we look at the children tab, we can see the actual toggle items. These work like any child and parent element. If we edit the first one, let's see the options. There is a title field, which is pretty self-explanatory, and the next option is open by default. This is set to no, but you could choose a particular toggle, probably the first one, to be open if you like. Then there is the toggle content field. This is a full text editor, so the content here can be simple text, or you can use the Avada Builder Element Generator, or even just paste content in from the builder. To create content like has been used here, it's easiest just to create your content on a blank page, and using the right-click functionality, copy the content across to the editor here. If you just want your content to be in one column, you only need to copy and paste the elements you want into here. But if you want a more advanced layout like this one, you need to create your content in nested columns, as the containing toggle is already in a column. 
As an example, I've created the same content on a new page here, and I'll just copy this nested column, and come back to my page and select this content and delete it, and paste my new content in. And if I open that particular toggle again, we can see my new content. Okay, finally, there are also CSS class and CSS ID fields in the child items as well, for further CSS customization. As with any child items, you can clone your items and edit them to create new ones, or add them with the Add Toggle button. Okay, that's the toggles element. It's a very cool element with a lot of styling options. Check it out. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.